it's unbelievable but it's the beginning of January and it's a beautiful sunny day and uh, I'm on the way to the boat to really check it out and give it a quick pressure wash it's winterized it's sitting there rather forlorn it's one of the only boats that's still in the water over the winter I've decided that it's actually better to leave it in the water it gives it some insulation rather than pulling it out um, lifting it out early in March and uh, getting everything done ready ahead of Easter which is probably the beginning of the season for us in the UK but uh, we're not quite sure what we're going to do we're not quite sure whether we're going to keep the motorboat we're going to change it for another motorboat or maybe look at it sailing As so often happens with boating, by the time I got to the marina the weather had completely changed and now there was a squally wind blowing through. So the idea of getting the pressure washer out was uh, just a no-go really. But it gave me the chance to have a look at some of the jobs and some of the projects we'll be undertaking over the next couple of months or so. What was worrying though was the amount of growth that we'd picked up on the bottom of the boat. It almost looked like the boat had grown a beard over the winter since we last saw her. But uh, still, let's have a look at some of the jobs and some of the projects we'll be undertaking. And over coming episodes, you'll be able to join us and see how we get on with those, getting the boat ready for this year. I'm glad to be out that wind. Oh, first thing I'm going to do is the thing I always do, and that's put the kettle on. So I've pulled the carpet up here. Um, I've got a bit of carpet in the cockpit. One of the jobs that I want to do is to change all the flooring maybe even try some of the uh, cheaper EVA flooring that's available and give that a go. Got a heater in the engine bay there, that's uh, being driven by a thermostat, everything's covered. This is another project I want to get my hands on very quickly at the beginning of this year and that's to remake this front part of the canopy. It's uh, fairly grubby, fairly rotten and uh, at the end of last year I did a rather big bodge job on it and just sewed on some vinyl to give it some strength over the winter because it was starting to go and it doesn't quite meet in the corner here anymore and as a result of that I always get a bit of a puddle forming here at the helm so let's get the door open get ourselves downstairs and have a little look uh, so this is my little dehumidifier it's a little 12 volt unit I don't like mains dehumidifiers generally uh, the reason for that being is that a neighbor of mine had one short circuit two years ago and lost his boat as a result massive fire causing damage to boats around it too so yeah i've opted for this small unit and i tend to use the little crystal units and fill those up every time i come as well there's always one port light on a boat that gives you some grief and this is the one for me it's got to come out this spring um it's leaked over the winter uh, it's the only one that has done I resealed all of the port lights around three years ago uh, this one's obviously going to come out and be redone again and find out why that's doing that and new curtains as well pink I think pink has had its day I think it's time to change uh, let me know if you've got some ideas of colours, so just put some comments in the in, in the comments below. But uh, mm, uh, I'm learning to sew, so I'm going to have a go at those as well. And a nice view out the cabin window at some of the sailing fraternity across the other side of the river, who constantly say to me, you need a sailboat. Mm, definitely is something that we're considering, it's de definitely something on the cards and uh, there'll be more about that in a coming episode because uh, I've signed myself up for some training with one of the local companies and uh, we'll get that all recorded so you'll know everything that's going on as that happens. With the weather getting really wild outside there was just one more job to do and that was to go and lift the engine hatch and have a look in the bilge. I was a little bit shocked what I saw, I wasn't expecting that but uh, given the amount of rain that we've had just recently, I also wasn't surprised. Get 
this wall shut, the engine bay. Um, tastes like fresh water, so it's definitely not coming in from outside. It's not coming through the out drives. I take my rings off when I do this in the engine bay. I've lost too many things in tiny little nooks and crannies when I've been tucked away in here, so I've learned that lesson. I hope that's fresh water that's coming in from outside. I've having a I don't like tasting water in bilges, but it's the best way you can tell where that water's come from. Outdrive boats. One thing you don't want with an outdrive boat is to taste salt water in an engine bay, because that means one thing that the water's coming in through the bellows of the outdrive, so that you've got some damage or a split in the outdrive bellows. This is fresh water. It tastes fresh. Um, a little bit crappy where it's washed down through the side of the bilge but uh, thankfully it tastes like fresh water and doesn't taste like salt water. Uh, I'm on a salt water marina here so if it was salt water I'd be really worried. Oh so that's the bilge is uh, dried out which is uh, good news. A dry bilge especially an engine bilge is a happy bilge um, for me, with, with an engine boat, it enables you to see if you've got any problems straight away. Uh, water in a bilge, oil in a bilge is always a sign that he's investigating. Uh, thankfully, I know where the water comes from on this boat. I've had it a few years. It's not perfect and uh, it has its foibles and flaws. I was going to wash the boat outside today, but the weather is looking worse and worse. Uh, the wind is blowing up. Now, the forecasting force 8 winds here this evening, so I've just been around and made sure the ropes are all secure. Let's certainly have a look at the weather behind me, it's absolutely looking shocking. Really not sure what's going on with this fella over here. Um, doesn't seem to be tied to a mooring, there's a rope certainly to shore, and uh, a lot of polythene flapping around on top there. I do hope it's okay. At that point the weather was really picking up and it was time to go. But a couple of the jobs that I need to do, this is the deck shower. I walked into it, it exploded, water came pouring out of the deck shower hose. And so I've kind of bodged it back on with some tape and a cable tie for now. I've ordered a new one, they're cheap enough to replace and I'll get that done soon. Also have a look at the shock cord. That needs changing around the whole canopy and that's a job for the spring. One of the things I'd like to do is make a stay for the anchor chain to take the pressure off the anchor chain and the clutch for the windlass. So I've measured out some rope here and I'll get that spliced up soon. But at that point it was time to zip the boat up, make sure it's all secure and it's mooring because the weather really was looking shocking. There was a severe weather warning and it wasn't just this storm as well. Over the next couple of weeks we have some really major storms forecast. So hopefully the boat's tied up well enough to survive the next few weeks we'll come back in a few weeks time and have a look and see if there's any damage and uh, in the meantime i'm going to get some bits ordered to get some of the projects started so join us again soon and we'll have a look at where we're at